Hi guys, today I wanted to talk about Empress Matilda and I also wanted to do a look inspired by her as well. No one really knows what Empress Matilda really looked like. There is this image of her but I think this was made after she had died, uh, long after she had died. So I didn't really have anything to go by to create a look inspired by Matilda. So instead I took my inspiration from Alison Pill who plays as Matilda in the TV series called Pillars of the Earth. Pillars of the Earth was a mini TV series which was out in 2010. I only watched it recently and I really enjoyed it. And the Matilda in the TV series is a much more glamorous version of Matilda. She um, in a lot of scenes wears what appears to be quite dark eye makeup, quite smoky. And then in other scenes it looks like she's wearing very minimal makeup, hardly any makeup at all. So I wanted to get my inspiration from this picture of hers, uh, where she um, yeah, isn't wearing much makeup at all, it doesn't really look like she's wearing a lot of foundation or um, mascara or anything like that. And of course, back in the 12th century, not much makeup would have been worn. But before this Matilda inspired makeup look, I just wanted to tell you a bit about Empress Matilda. Matilda was born in 1102 in Berkshire, which is in England. Um, she is the daughter of Henry I and Matilda of Scotland. Her younger brother was called William and he was born in 1103. Although William was younger than Matilda, being that he was a boy, he was now the heir to the throne. In 1110, when Matilda was eight years old, she was set to marry Henry V, who was the King of Germany and the Holy Roman Emperor. He was 20 years older than Matilda. They later got married in 1114. In 1117, Matilda and her husband visited Rome where they were crowned in ceremony. It was there that Matilda was given the title as Empress. In 1118, Matilda's mother died. Her mother was originally called Edith, but she changed her name to Matilda because Edith was a more of an appropriate Saxon name. And then in 1120, Matilda's brother William died while returning from France to England. He died in what was known as the Wreck of a White Ship. This meant that now Henry I's only legitimate heir was Matilda. But in 1121, Henry I remarried in hope to create another male heir. In 1125, Matilda's husband died before she and he could have any children. So Henry I called Matilda back to England where he announced that Matilda would be his heir. And all the barons accepted this. In 1127, Henry I arranged for Matilda, who was now 25, to marry Geoffrey V, Count of Anjou. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly, my um, French pronunciation isn't very good. Um, he was 15 years old at the time and they married in 1128. In 1133, Matilda gave birth to her first son, Henry, and then a year later she gave birth to a second son she called Geoffrey. In 1135, Matilda's father, King Henry I, died. Matilda was pregnant with her third son William at the time of her father's death and so was unable to travel to England. Matilda's nephew, Stephen, who was in England at the time of Henry's death, then seized the throne for himself. Stephen had himself crowned at Westminster Abbey on the 22nd of December. He now had the support of all the barons who originally said that they were in support of Matilda becoming queen. They now decided that it wasn't such a good idea to have a female ruler. So instead they now all supported Stephen as their king. In 1136 Matilda's third son William is now born and now she can concentrate on her task of becoming queen. Some nobles did support Matilda's claim as queen and they agreed to help her fight for her crown. In 1138, Matilda's half-brother, Robert Earl of Gloucester, joined Matilda's fight, starting a civil war. Matilda's maternal uncle, David I of Scotland, also invaded England to help support Matilda. But Stephen's army managed to defeat David's army at the Battle of Standard. In 1139, Matilda landed in England to fight for her title, and then in 1141, Matilda's forces captured Stephen during the Battle of Lincoln and held him captive at Bristol Castle. 
Matilda was now proclaimed Lady of the English and she had now got the support of Stephen's brother, Henry of Blois. The two of them had recently fallen out over the ruling of the country. However, things didn't last too well for Matilda. Her arrogant manner and demands were very disliked by her people and so her coronation never took place. And seeing that Matilda was very unpopular, Stephen's brother Henry decided to switch back and support his brother again. Stephen's wife, who was also called Matilda, just to complicate things further, decided to raise an army to attack Matilda. But Empress Matilda managed to escape Matilda's forces by pretending to be a dead corpse. Unfortunately for her, however, her half-brother, who was called Robert, was defeated by uh, Stephen's army. Robert was then taken prisoner. Matilda and her half-brother Robert were very close, so the news of his capture really devastated Matilda, and so she decided that she would release King Stephen if Stephen's wife Matilda agreed to release her half-brother. So this trade took place and King Stephen was released. In 1142, Matilda was captured by Stephen's forces, but again she managed to escape by doing one of her daring escape plans. She is very well known for her um, escapes, and this escape is probably one of the most famous ones in history. She managed to escape Oxford Castle, dressed in white and camouflaged against the snow. In 1147, Matilda's half-brother Robert died. Matilda was really saddened by this and decided to give up her fight to become queen and returned back to Normandy in France. Her eldest son Henry, however, continued her fight. In 1153, Stephen's eldest son, Eustace, died. And after the death of his son, Stephen realised that this fight was going on too long between him and Matilda and now him and Matilda's son Henry and uh, he no longer had the ambition or the drive really to continue fighting and so he decided to name Matilda's son Henry as his heir but on the condition that he remained king for the duration of his life and that his other son William was um, able to keep his lands in France. This was agreed and Stephen remained king until 1154 when he died and then the crown went on to Henry who became Henry II. Henry II became the first Plantagenet king of England and although Matilda never became queen she was able to see her son become king. Matilda remained in France but was Henry's confidant and advisor until she died at the age of 65 in 1167. Matilda was proud, fearless and determined and in the end, although she lost, she won. Matilda's tomb reads, great by birth, greater by marriage, greatest in her offspring, here lies Matilda, the daughter, wife and mother of Henry. So I hope you enjoyed learning a bit about Matilda's life. In many ways it's sad to think she never received the crown which she was promised but at the same time she managed to see her son become king and their family line continued so um, I look at it as she won really. So now I'm going to show you how I created this inspired makeup look. I want this look to appear as though I'm not wearing any makeup so I don't want to use a heavy coverage foundation so I'm using a BB cream from Covergirl and this is in the shade 520 light because I want my skin to look quite pale. To set it I am now using uh, the Stay Matte Powder from Rimmel London. Now I'm using the Brow Envy Kit from Too Faced and I don't want to do a lot to my brows. I'm just going to use the blonde shade to fill them in and I'm using the blonde shade because Alison Pill as Matilda has very pale eyebrows. Now I'm using the natural matte palette from Too Faced and I'm using the shade Less Is More and I'm running this through my crease line concentrating more on the inner crease. Now taking the shade All Natural I'm applying this all over my lids. 
and I'm also running this shade under my lash line as well. Now I'm taking the shade Sexpert and I am lightly lining the upper lash line and my lower lash line. I only want to do this lightly, I don't want it to be harsh at all. And I'm going to draw this line out in the inner corners just to make it the illusion that my eyes appear closer, a bit like Alice in Pills. And now I'm just going to contour my nose using the shade Less Is More. And Alison Peel has got a slight upturn to her nose, so to create this illusion I'm just drawing a line across my nose and then just going to blend this in and highlight the tip of my nose to help create this illusion even more. And for lipstick I'm using the shade 130 Intense Nude by Estee Lauder. And that completes this Matilda inspired makeup look. I really love this look. It really appears as though you're not wearing any makeup. It's very minimal and fresh. And now for the hair, I really wanted to copy this hairstyle from Alison. It's very, very simple hairstyle to recreate. I don't have any clips, but I have these hair bands. And I am wearing a wig for this look. I thought it looked very similar to Alison's hair. And so I'm taking a small front section of hair from both sides. And I'm just going to tie three hair bands down the hair, ensuring I leave a small section between each band. And I'm just going to pull the hair between each of the bands and that is it. It's really, really easy to do. To really complete this look, I'm going to add this really beautiful headpiece I bought from Amazon. And now to show you what I'm wearing, I bought this really nice long blue dress from Boohoo. I thought it looked similar to the dress Alison is wearing here. And I think the dress has an historical feel to it. I really feel like a medieval empress wearing it, but it still has that modern look to it too. I can wear it out and not feel like I'm getting stared at. I did add this belt I had to add to that medieval appearance. Thank you very much for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed it and if you want to see more from me please subscribe. I'll definitely be making more videos like this, I love history and I love learning about different um, people throughout history and I think it's fun to add a makeup look with it too because I also love makeup so I really enjoyed doing this video today and um, I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!